Hi guys, we're here in Miami, Florida. We just got here last night. We flew in from Philadelphia. So we're on our honeymoon. That's my husband. We got married in August uh, on the 18th. And um, our honeymoon, it just started today, the 26th. We spent Christmas with our family. So we're here in Miami. We just picked up the car from the airport and you know, we have a rental. Um, we don't know where to go, but we are looking for it to eat at this place called Soko Thai. It's an Asian restaurant, but um, something that we typically go for. We honestly don't like the food in Miami. But let's try this restaurant. I looked on Groupon and I was able to get a deal, a $40 deal for $25. So you spend $25, you can eat up to $40. So yeah, we're using the GPS to get around. And right now it's rainy. Um, we always wanted to live in Florida, but the weather gets a little bit, you know, um, bipolar. It's sunny and then it's rainy. Um, the temperature in December, how does it feel? It feels nice. Like we just came from a 32 degree weather and this is a shock for us because I'm able to wear sandals. <laughs> in the winter time and it's like December the 26th you know you can see him smelling over there because he has his sweater on and I told him you don't need your sweater because it's really sunny in Florida we asked our shuttle driver um how cold does it get in Miami it gets uh to 50 degree and that's it sometimes sometimes would you guys like to live in Miami? I think I would for the weather. Nice house. Oh, this rain can really go away for now. So there's Santa Claus. He just needs to drive a little safer. <laughs> So there's Santa Claus in the rain, and it's like summertime. Huh. Where is this restaurant? I like the nice palm trees. Making a turn, then turn right onto South Lejeune Road. So we just stepped out and we're heading to our restaurant. That's how the street is looking. And we're just walking to our favorite um, restaurant. Not really our favorite. We haven't been here yet. So we're going to try this restaurant out. And I really like this weather. Let's see where we're going. Walking to our restaurant. Temperature is feeling like 75 degrees. Um, not humid at all because it just rained. We've never been here before, but it's more part of an upscale area near the airport in Miami. So, finding parking is not that hard. It's just you have to circle around a couple times and then you can actually get to the restaurant. We walked for about two minutes, so it's not that bad. Just don't park in any valid parking area because it costs more. It costs like $8 just to park. So we're here at our restaurant. It's called Red Koi. 
Thai Sushi Lounge. Not a lot of people here right now, so we're just gonna go in and have lunch. We usually go for Asian when we travel because we like the Asian food more. I'll we'll check out the menu. We got starters. Now, that's why we use Groupon because you can see the price here. It goes insanely up, but this restaurant has pretty good, um, decent amount of price for the food. Yeah, so it's about three, four o'clock. I think it's four o'clock right now. We're no longer looking at the lunch special. <sighs> Thai entrees. I mean, it's not that bad for Miami. So the price is like 16 up. If you go to Miami, you should go to this restaurant. I haven't tried the food yet, so we'll see. So we looked at the bento boxes and all bento boxes are served with miso soup and green salad. Um, since we spend like $25 on Groupon, we get like a $40 deals on food. I'm going to just pick the bento box E. I like beef teriyaki, sashimi four pieces, and California roll five pieces. You get all this for $13. Can't beat that in Miami. Honey, what are you getting? What are you looking at? I'll get the He's not a picky uh, eater. He usually go what I recommend. So you're getting the what? The D, the bento box D. The D, chicken, he, teriyaki. chicken teriyaki, and Niagara D, three pieces in California roll five pieces. So when our food comes out, we're going to see how it tastes. And I'm really hungry right now, like super hungry. <laughs> So when we ordered from the menu, the lunch menu, they said that we need to order before 3.30, but we were able to get, have the order in at 3.45. So we got it at the price that we wanted. Two of the bento boxes were just um, $26. So we decided to order uh, two more appetizers. One is the shrimp shumai and one is the chicken satay. And that should get up, up to a little bit more than $40. So our first course right now is the miso soup. And let me try that. The miso soup is really good. I like it. Yeah. They even added a Christmas <laughs> napkin. I'm feeling very Christmassy. I still need to finish my soup. So I got done with the miso soup. Uh, next stop is our appetizer, and it just came out. Yeah, it looks good. There's two different types of sauce. Let's try it. That's okay. I'm gonna try the brown sauce first. I like it. It's really good. Let's try the white sauce. It's like it's a Vinegary. They're both good. I actually like this one better. Alright. So our bento boxes just came out. The teriyaki. We got the chicken teriyaki. Still finishing up the appetizer. But let's try the food and I'm let you know how it tastes. How do I like it? Pretty good. Pretty good? Is the meat salty or just um, perfect? Yeah. 
It's good. So you got the chicken teriyaki, the sushi. I think that's the Niagara over there, if I said it right. And the salad. Let me try mine real quick. And I also have some raw tuna and salmon. California roll. Here's my wasabi, my salad, my beef teriyaki. Mm. I really like it. It's not salty at all. And I mean, where is the rice? I think we need to ask for some rice. Or we're just eating this with sushi? Yep. I guess so. But if you want to fill your belly up a little bit more, order a side rice. So we're just going to get some white rice to eat with our meat um, because I like to fill my belly up a little bit. Um, I would like it with white rice. That's what we're doing. Enjoy. Thank you. The flavoring is very good and um, the raw sushi we ordered. They didn't have ginger, so we're just gonna eat it. This. Do you guys eat raw sushi? Because I do. I like raw sushi. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maya. Mm. Awesome. We'll try this too. And um, yeah, it's pretty fresh. The salmon is pretty fresh. I love it. Um, when you eat raw sushi, make sure you eat it with wasabi because it makes the fish smell, the smell of it, um, lessen. Also, some people don't like wasabi, but I personally do. I could eat all, you see all the wasabi in here? Yeah, that's a lot. So I usually grab a little bit of sushi here, dip it in the soil sauce. It might burn a little bit because this is a lot of wasabi. Mm. Oh my God. I'm going to try the tuna now. Same concept. Dip it in here. A little bit of wasabi. Our bento boxes, and I already tried the um, first appetizer, which is the ter um, chicken teriyaki or chicken satay for Thai. And um, we're gonna move over here to try the dumplings. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy to eat. It's good with the sauce. The dumplings is like really soft. I think the flavor is shrimp. <laughs>
Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We just turned in. Where's the cell park? We're looking for the cell parking. We are now going into turn cell left parking. Turn left Seminole Way, then turn left. So we are inside the Hard Rock Casino. Look how beautiful it is in there. People are taking pictures. Think our time. I don't know what he just said, but hi. So there we go, slot machine. Just your typical casino, but much fancier. And it's beautiful in here. That guy's taking a selfie. Poker table, blackjack table, so probably that way. So we're supposed to be heading to a more beautiful um, area to probably take pictures. We don't gamble, so another bar over there. Getting breakfast. People are grabbing coffee. We are staying at the Holiday Inn Express, and <laughs> people are actually in line waiting to get breakfast. It's a pretty long line. People are eating, and it's taking about seven minutes since we've been down here. There's still a line. We try to get here a little bit earlier, but somehow we needed our sleep and now we're waiting in line. Pick of the choice, water, apple juice, orange juice, and another orange juice. We're just gonna get orange juice and then there's milk. If you go on vacation, try to give yourself some time to wake up a little earlier so you can avoid this long line to get breakfast. There's cereal for us. You can choose from Fruit Loops, Corn Flakes, Red Berries. Yeah. I'm get my plate. Nice. And a hot sauce. I eat hot sauce with everything. They don't really have the hot sauce that I want here, but try this one. Put it near ketchup. I'm going to skip pancakes because I because I don't eat pancakes. 
<clears throat> They're really shutting down everything. Oh, he got us these. This is actually a very good breakfast. It took us some time <coughs> to get our food, but let's enjoy it. So, my husband and I were conversating since we're here in Miami before we board Bahamas to go to our honeymoon. We were wondering what's the difference between a honeymoon and a vacation? Well, I think depending on what purpose you're trying to serve, he said, this guy here, he just woke up. I don't want to film his face, but he said, what did you say? What's the difference between honeymoon and vacation? And, uh, vacation, we will go to enjoy their time with friends, with family, with their loved ones. But honeymoon is, the better term for honeymoon is to get it on. It's to get it on, so. To have a baby. Is he suggesting that we are going to get it on? <laughs> I'm filming these two buns right here. Possibly. A good chance. Just kidding. Eat the bun. I played so much. All right. So we just left our hotel and we stayed at the Holiday Inn Express for two nights. Um, yesterday we had a very eventful day. We went to eat at Red Koi Thai and Sushi Restaurant, or, and then. Um, we uh, drove to the Seagrass, I believe, outlet, and um, we shopped around. It's a pretty nice outlet. It's big. Use the right lane you can't to possibly go there in one day, and we only went there for a couple of hours. We came back to our hotel to relax, change, freshen up, and then we left to go to Ocean Drive. We went to this um, bar called Mangoes, and it's really popular. Keep right. Um, as you can see, my cha 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 need to be improved. <laughs> anyway, um, after that, we headed to the Hard Rock Casino. So we did a whole lot of things last night. Just we didn't gamble at the casino. We just kind of went Keep around and. and look at the scene since we haven't gone there in like six years things have definitely changed here so, so cool. yeah things have definitely changed here it's beautiful in Miami today the weather is about 85 degrees in December it's awesome um, we're looking forward to our cruise and heading down to the terminal now.